Okay, hello everybody. This is a like quick tutorial how to fly with my avionics system because I noticed that a lot of people are asking me about how I can actually fly with that thing. It's actually pretty simple and I am sorry that I wasn't able to make it intuitive to most of you guys, but if you don't understand something, just watch this video and you will you will fly like a, not like a pro, but you will know how to fly with that system. So first of all, go to your options, controls, configure items. Here you will find VBK Avionics. Here are all of the buttons that are responding for earplugs, plane customization, etc., etc., etc. So <clears throat> some of the buttons might not give you a clear idea what they do. Um, so. Earplugs is basically lowering your volume uh, because whenever you are in a plane, the volume doesn't um, turn off automatically. So you would need to press the button. If you want, you can use Ace earplugs on it or any other. I do not care. So plane customization. This is the main thing where whenever you press it and if you're sitting inside of the plane or a helicopter that works with it as well, you will be able to select different rockets, uh, different pylons, etc. I'll show you later. Enable reverse engine. That's the thing. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's the thing that basically um, enabling the reverse thrust on your engine whenever you're landing, and you basically start stopping very quickly. That is good. So whenever you're landing, reverse plane means that um, by default in Arma you cannot drive backwards while in the plane, and sometimes I find that feature handy, so I added it to the mod. Whenever you will press reverse plane button, uh, your plane start going backwards. Mark target. Um, <clears throat> whenever you look at some kind of a target, you can click the button to uh, tell other players that we should focus on that one, or something like that. Um, afterburners. Uh, I think you know how this thing works, that basically accelerate your speed <clears throat> for, like 10 um, for like 10 seconds. Um, enable HMD HUD. You can only disable the crosshair for now because some of the planes have already built in crosshair, so you can press the button. Launch missile. To launch a missile, launch RCM, RCM, and enable engine fire extinguisher. So basically, whenever you was hit, you can press that button and your plane will be <clears throat> repaired. You can do that once in two minutes while you're in air. So let's start with plane customization. Whenever you press the button, you'll see your main weapons, gadgets, and additional pylons. I'm working on the gadgets, they will be added soon. But <coughs> let's stick with the main weapons and additional pylons. Here are your main missiles. So basically you can select any missile. They have, there is different types. Some of them can be locked onto air targets and the ground targets as well. Some of them can be only locked onto air targets, ground targets, or even ships. Here you can find additional uh, machine guns that you can use. In the pylons, you can customize vanilla rockets and bombs <clears throat> to if you want to uh, like uh, play as a cast plane or something like that. So you can change your camera here. I mean, I think that thing is intuitive. So whenever you go, um, Select any any missile. So, for example, right now, since I want to show you everything, I'm gonna use uh, heavyweight missiles. I can lock onto anything, and they are pretty good. I'm gonna select the Vulcan, and whenever you exit, it basically automatically saves everything. I have enhanced it payway. I have GBUs and the Vulcan. So, <coughs> let's get up in the air, and I'm gonna spawn a bunch of targets to show you how to lock. So, the main problem. Uh, for people is locking onto something. It is not like in Ace Combat or Project Wingman, but it is pretty easy, easier than in Vanilla Armor. So, <clears throat> for example, let me spawn um, APC, right? I'm gonna spawn a bunch of APCs here. And whenever you see that this is a, they are green, that means that you can fire the missile. All you need to do is to lock on them, press the target, and then keep your crosshair on them. Terrain. And the rocket will deploy automatically. Terrain. It's not to press anything again. Terrain. So basically, as I said, it works in a way that you press the button, you wait for that beep sound, and that, and if there is something in your crosshair, the rocket will be fired. So again, I'm just looking at them and firing the rocket. <clears throat> That's it. 
this is like this works both for ground, uh, air, and so For example, if I'm gonna spawn an enemy plane, right? Um, I can lock on him in the exact same way. Lock on alert, missile. Um, about about plane AI and uh, missile in general. So whenever you get locked, you will hear the lock on alert sound. That lock on alert, missile. The AI is only only locking on you. It's necessary to deploy RCMs right now. Whenever you hear missile, you have two options. So <clears throat> either way, you are deploying your RCMs. Or if you do not have those, you can use afterburners to evade the rocket. If that rocket is, for example, a maneuverable one, you will not be able to break from it. So you will not be able you will not be able to just fly uh, from it by yourself. You would need to use those afterburners or RCMs. But um, with standard missiles, you can basically break and evade them without doing anything. But it is really hard, and as I said, most of the time, enemy planes, um, which are AI, always using uh, quick uh, anti-air missiles whenever they fight with you. So you need to use IRCM and the, and the afterburners. Um, <clears throat> and that's it practically. So as I said, uh, Lock on pay alert. attention to your missile. Heart and deploy RCMs and afterburners. They are really hard to kill. I mean, not that hard, but you just uh, need to have a little bit of practice, and that's it. And you will be able to kill them very quickly, especially with different different types of rockets. I'm Lock on alert. To, Missile. To test. Yeah, you see? That was pretty easy, because I was uh, close and I had the good missiles. Uh, you, by default, Caution. Pull up. STGMs and they are not very good against air targets. So as I said, if you know that you will engage with air targets, switch your rocket uh, missiles to the anti-air one. If you, for example, are engaging against ships or something like that, it will be better to use. Um, it will be better to use <coughs> anti anti-ship uh, missiles. Uh, you can find in my Discord, you can find the script if you want to test out. Right now, the customization is working only on the ground, but you can execute this command and make so you will be able to customize your plane in the air, as you can see. So, for example, I'm going to take last long-range air-to-ship missile. I'm finding a ship, and I can fire. There is some of the part, some parts of the ship that I cannot fire at, but the basic, basic ship, I can fire on it. So... <coughs> Oh, and that's it, see? He's still firing flak at me, but that's okay. So, for example, I added... Um, there is shockwave missiles, electromagnetic missiles, uh, long-range air-to-ship missile, then hyper-velocity, high power, uh, quick maneuver, high accuracy, heavyweight, and star missile. So, I think that, that should be... Informative, as I said, Caution. sorry that Pull up. I wasn't able to do it uh, intuitive, uh, <coughs> intuitive. Uh, so, but as I said, if you have any questions, feel free to ask on my Discord. I'm sitting like most of the day in there, so you can just hop into the voice chat or message me in, uh, in any chat chat. And that's practically it. So, thanks for playing with that mod and enjoy!